Uh, let's close out. We got three more. Two big ones, one little one. The Ohio State Buckeyes. 13 and 1 last year, 8 and 1 in conference, returning starters. They got four on offense, nine back on defense. Experience is number 94 in the country. That's number nine in the conference. Their over under is 10. The over minus 135. The under is plus 115. Look, Ryan Day comes in. Urban Meyer is gone. Uh, Day looked really good in the first three games last year. It seemed like things were much more stable. I don't think that that necessarily means that he's a better coach than Urban Meyer. Uh, this year is all about quarterback Justin Fields. He transfers in from Georgia. He was a top five prospect nationally the year before last. He's got the reins now. They they ran off Tate Martell. Um, look, he's got a rocket arm and he's got wheels for days, right? Like it, it, we we've seen Justin Fields. Right. However, we never saw it in college. Like that was there any point that you saw him at Georgia and you said, okay. No, but That's also it. never saw any type of offensive mind around him either. Agreed. That, I Agreed. mean, that's what kind of offensive coaches were were we looking at there? True. No, you're you're right. Not, and not, I, they, I respect, they weren't Day. I respect Jim Chaney, but no, he's not Ryan Day. That's it. Not, that's not it. by any no, stretch of the not imagination. Not a knock on Georgia's coaching, but but there's a reason Day got the head coaching job at Ohio State. Yeah, they've uh, now. I will say this: Ohio State they have got some skill position talent like crazy, right? right. So it's skill like running back, and they got J.K. Dobbins back at running back. Well, they're gonna just there's just a revolving door of running yeah. back and receivers. K, K.J. Hill, Austin yeah. Mack, guys like that. They're all coming back. Uh, the issue is going to be the offensive line. They they need to stabilize the offensive line. If they can do that, uh, they could be really really good. Otherwise, you got to temper the expectations, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, even with all the talent up front, the Buckeyes allowed foes to rush for 4.5 yards per carry. Uh, look, Ohio State allowed 25.5 points per game last year. That is the most in the history. Of the Ohio State program, can you believe that? Doesn't surprise me. That is just crazy. Like it's and, and that's and, playing against Michigan and Michigan State. Neither one of them could score on anybody. Yeah, well, I mean, Michigan scored thirty nine points against them. Yeah, but a lot of that's garbage time. A lot of it was garbage time, but it's still thirty nine points. I guess it you're still right. runs yeah. into the average. Yeah, you're um, right. but yeah, they had not allowed more than twenty three points per game since nineteen ninety nine. That's just absurd. Uh, I can't imagine Rutgers scored much on them. No, maybe, maybe they did, but like Let's see. Rutgers scored three, yeah. Tulane scored six. So you're talking about? I mean, all of those points came from conference opponents. Well, I mean, Except Maryland put up 51 on them. Yeah, I remember that. Nebraska put up 31. That went into, uh, that went into like double or triple overtime too. That Maryland game. Yeah, they per, went for the overtime. The, Purdue for the win. Purdue scored 49 on them. Um, I yeah, mean, I mean, yeah, they, Purdue hung it on them. It, it Northwestern even put up 24 points on them. Like right. Northwestern only averaged, what, 18 points a game? Yeah, like so that. Wasn't, it wasn't a lot. Wasn't a lot. So, uh, defense, I mean, Jordan Fuller could have jumped in the NFL, but he is one of the Big Ten's best defenders, and he's back. Uh, Chase Young, plenty of ability on the end. Nine and a half sacks last year. Uh, look, I, I think that it all comes down to whether or not Justin Fields is the real deal. And I think that he will be good, but remember, this will be his first season as a starter. It helps that they've got somewhat of an easier schedule to open up things. Like they've got Florida Atlantic, Cincinnati, at Indiana, and Miami, Ohio. But man, I've got, I'll I'll, I'll go on and tell you what I got them. How's that? Okay. I've got them nine and three. I got them six and three in conference. Losses at Nebraska, at Northwestern, and at Michigan to end the season. Uh, I think the game at Nebraska, Nebraska is going to be amped up for that one. Just that, that is their, we're back. We're com- like, and they'll, I think Nebraska will be undefeated at that point. It'll be two 4 0 teams. Everybody amped up for it. I think Ohio State loses that, but then they come back the next week. They beat Michigan State at home. They've got a bye week before Northwestern. We both think Northwestern gets that one done. Then they come off the Northwestern loss and beat Wisconsin. You know, it's, it, I think they beat Penn State like they have been. It's, I- I got you them know. ten and two. I, I you could easily talk me into to nine and three. Pretty simple. I can't see much worse than that. I do see. You think the opening of the schedule is easy for them, especially new quarterback trying to get a feel for his new team. And I think Cincinnati and Indiana defensively 
are going to give them problems. And they could. Now, I don't think offensively they can hang with Ohio State. I think Ohio State wins those games. But that is not what you want a new quarterback coming into a new system. Defensively, they're going to go against Cincinnati, Indiana, Michigan State, Wisconsin, who I think's defense is going to be good, and Michigan. They've got five defenses that just are going to hit you in the mouth and beat you up. Well, here, Here's the other if side. Fields, if Fields wins 10 games against this conference, against those teams, then, then he earned it. He got it. I, I think with Cincinnati and Indiana, their experience level is so low right oh, now. Oh, no, substantially low. Um, but they're really well-coached teams by defensive guys. I take guys. back. Indiana, however, it, Indi- Indiana's experience level is way up there. I was way off. Well, the, but, the, but the, caliber of, the caliber of talent it's is completely just, different. It's drastically different. But defense doesn't matter. Right, we we got to run through these in like six minutes. we got well, two more. we literally can just give Rutgers schedule record. Yeah, we could probably do that. Penn State. 